There's two types of villains. The ones who are evil but it's for the greater good. The kind that people listen to and say bro has a point. The second type is the hater. Straight menaces. They have a daily checklist on what to do and it's wake up, choose violence. I love hater villains. So I'm going to spend the next seven days making one for my webcomic. I'm taking inspiration from some of the pettiest villains of all time. Create the world's biggest hater. His only goal is to delete this man from existence. I'm going to make some concept art, a suit reveal and I'll even animate an action scene in the end. So let's start with the concept. Concept art. I had to give bro a makeover because currently in the story you can see his face and you're not exactly scaring anyone if every time you get into a fight your face looks like you're stuck and you need your step sibling to come and help. What did he say? So I'm giving this man a new helmet and final boss armor. The character's name is Butcher X. He's a highly trained agent working for an organization called Nexivo, which is one of the world's most powerful companies. The same company that created his number one enemy, Project 10. And no, the N does not stand for Project Nick. The plan is simple. Scary indestructible mask, bulletproof armor, shoulder guns, wrist guns, arm blade things, lower back guns. In case the shoulder guns, wrist guns and arm blade things don't help him put my hero's heart meat on airplane mode. You know what? I'll give him more guns. Regular guns. Because you can never have enough guns. This message has been approved by the USA. When you're designing a character, you want to give them a pretty distinct silhouette so that even without the main details, fans can instantly tell who they are. That uh, Bugs Bunny silhouette looking a bit sus. I wanted his outline to show he was evil and to do that, I used sharp edges and triangle-like shapes. I tried a few designs, I wanted the mask itself to be scary so I added a skull design and I'll be honest, I don't know what the f*** I was doing at first. I started giving him some skull nostrils, then I added horn things but the weirdest thing I did, I don't know why I did this but I, 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 I almost gave bro lips. Big juicy gob smacking lips in the middle of his helmet. I don't even know what he was gonna do without my guy. Come over here and kiss me on my hot mouth. I'm feeling romantical. I was going for a scary voodoo mask vibe, but that mouth just wasn't working. I, tr I tried to fit it in, but it was just too big. That's what she said. <laughs> I eventually dropped the whole skull mask design because bro was looking less like he was wearing high-tech futuristic armor and more like he was in a new Doja Cat music video. I gave his face an X and an O to show that he's the leader of Nexevo's secret task force called Poachers. See, the task force exists to get rid of Nexevo's former experiments who are insect-human hybrids called insectids. There's two types of poachers, X's and O's. The X leads the O's. Since my villain is called Poacher X, he leads the O's and I wanted that to be reflected on his helmet. Just like the O's have O's on their helmet. That way it becomes not just a scary cool design but it actually adds to the story and to the lore of the world I'm building. After importing the drawing into Photoshop, I started coloring. I added a new layer and then I called it background. Then I grabbed this paint bucket tool to slap in the main background grey. I'll change the layer to multiply so I can start adding color to the design and make it see through. I'm using something called the lasso tool right now. I'm going to highlight every single drawing of him using it all at once to make it easier for myself to color him. Won't be that different from the original version but I will give it different shades of grey. No not that one. Anything. Anything but that. His armor is designed to destroy swarms. Swarms are basically the super suits that cover insectids, the hybrid race he has to hunt down. My main character is an insected. The last touch ups to the concept art was the text so that anyone who was reading understands it. Definitely not because I'm worried I'll forget important things about the suit and I have goldfish memory thanks to doom scrolling for hours on end on TikTok and now every time I close my eyes I see those opium buds that keep showing up on my feed. The new armor is called SR gear. SR stands for Swarm Reaper. Swarm Reaper because it's not only designed to take swarm damage but return the favor. The helmet fully covers the eyes of the wearer to protect them from every inch of swarm damage. The center circle is actually a camera lens that projects what's on the outside for the wearer. It's loaded with NXD weapons that can penetrate swarms and can create opening in a swarm that allows you to kill the wearer. I'm loving the look so far. Came out way better than I expected. I think that deserves a hoia. But that's just the concept art. What about the suit reveal and fight scene you promised? For the suit reveal, I made this top of the line high-end art. Look at the level of detail, my guy. The time and effort put into this plan. 
the Mona Lisa. This deserves to be in a museum. I know it looks like horse sh**. The first panel will be our boy Poacher X opening the drawer to show a snippet of his suit. He then loads his gun as he gets ready to face our hero. He then puts on the helmet and finally, full reveal. I instantly got started on sketching. It was so cool to finally see his new suit in the comic and I genuinely enjoyed that part of the process. Even though he's looking uh, hella light skin right now as he's putting on the helmet. After I finished sketching, I put the page in Photoshop. There's gonna be a lot of blue in the background because he's in a dark room at night but for the reveal panel I want the background to be white so that you can see the suit in its full glory and its full glory 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 press the living call mm -hmm. I am a star it's a must I rise and shine Poja X actually lives in the main next level building at the highest floor that's his reward for being their number one meat rider he's currently getting ready to actually go downstairs and take on project and who snuck into next level mm. HQ to save his friend and fellow infected who's trapped inside the building I added in this metal texture for the drawer so it could help the suit pop and also give the vibe that it was actually protected in some really good casing now with the main coloring added i'm going to just add in a few glows here and there using the soft brush as well as shading and we are ready for the suit reveal now that he's in the building i can finally test this thing out my last chance my last opportunity to kill the last drone Yo, my guy, I know you're enjoying this, huh? Real quick, this is a shameless plug. My website has the first three issues and also the fourth issue is available and up now. Come on, you can you can support your boy and get a really cool story. Okay, we've seen the concept art, we've seen the suit reveal, and now, finally, it's onto the action page. The masterpiece plan is here. Poach X is going to walk in and catch them in 4K. I'ma put you in a jail cell. And I'ma make you drop the soap. Hey, hold up. Got started with the main sketches and immediately began inking the page. After that was done, I went on to adding color, mostly dark blue since we still want to show that it's nighttime and that they're in a dark secret underground lab. I added some light coming from the hallway for some dramatic effect and to give the villain some final boss type vibe, he's cornered them, he's blocking the way. There's no way out of this one. I slapped in some speed lines to show some serious action and give the page that oof. Also, some final touches and in 3, 2, 1. I've trained for this moment for years, Project M. The moment I earned the life of a beat room. The chance to avenge my mother. But now that the moment is here, I actually don't want it to end too quickly. Do me a small favor. Try and make this harder for me. I want to see you suffer! <laughs> 